Many of the pantos at our local theatres are in-house productions. They're a vital element to the theatre's annual programme and its annual budget. So it's essential that they put on a show worthy of us digging deep into our pockets and buying the tickets. So what are the main elements of a successful panto? A strong storyline well told, good versus evil, song and dance, comedy, children, animals, add in some glorious costumes and bright scenery. Well, it all sounds simple, but it's not. I asked some of the producers what they felt were the main elements. The magic of the pantomime would be the traditional elements of it, where the children, even when they come out of the womb, <laughs> know some, somehow how to say, oh no he isn't, oh yes, he, oh, yes it is. I, I don't know how, but they just automatically know. They're not necessarily taught it, but they sit in a theatre and they know straight away. They know he's behind you. They know that it's not real, but they see these characters. But the great thing is they can join in. And hard for us as performers because you never know what you're going to get thrown at you. Everybody obviously wants to see a little bit of romance, a little bit of um, tension with, with some of the baddies. So that's obviously a, a, something that we're trying to create and make sure that there's enough spark and um, dynamic there on stage. That's obviously one side. People want to see a little bit of dance. So it's important to get the right choreographer in to then create that. From writing a panto early on in the year, you might find, as you say, some topics that happen early on in the year. Are they still going to be relevant come December? Probably not. So you tend to wait until October, November time before you start putting in topical stuff. You can't put anything in that people won't remember. So possibly there'll be something in there about the American elections. But I think going back any further than that, people have got short memories on news topics. So, and it's finding relevant jokes that will fit. Let's start with the script. It needs to be good, it needs to be strong, it needs to be funny. Uh, it needs to appeal to the traditional uh, that people expect while introducing some new elements because the point about pantomime for the last 150 years is that it's responded to what's around. You know, it's changed the songs, it's changed the jokes, it's appealed more to television, it's put in television stars, it's, it's changed and it changes every single year. So what we look for is a strong story with traditional elements, but which can be updated. So I think the elements are joining in, the music is great, the costumes and the scenery have to be bright and exciting. It doesn't have to be hugely expensive. The story is important, but not as important as you think it is, because if you look at some of the stories, they're rather silly stories anyway. But all those elements of, of the thrill of going into the theatre and that magic when you go in, and you know this lighting and and you know we, we you know we have sort of flashing lights and 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 all that sort of thing and it's just a, it's just a lovely exciting production and i think for children they want to go in and they go oh, 